Hey everyone, so this is a redo of a very important video and it's one that I did some months back um, and it's one that talks about the differences between oil serums and water serums. The reason why this topic is important is because my clients and customers constantly ask me which one their skin needs. And, you know, even though I can help with that and suggest what their skin needs, pretty much when it comes to it, it's understanding what your skin needs on your own. So oil serums and water serums do completely different things and they target different concerns. So this is very personal. Which oil or which water serum you choose is very personal to you, uh, depending on your skin's needs. So let's jump right into it and talk about the differences between these two very, very popular skincare products. Now let's talk about what I call these serums, okay? So there are so many facial serums out there. They can be called elixirs. Um, you know, the oils can be called facial oils. However, to me, they're kind of like all serums because they are concentrated, dense ingredients, you know, in this little kind of smaller sized bottles that deliver, um, you know, way more than your moisturizer would. So, and this is where you can actually um, tackle those specific concerns is with one of these serums. All right. So now what I call a water serum are the lighter textured, um, you know, kind of the aloe vera uh, juice, hyaluronic acid, you know, they are the ones that, um, you know, look clear. And when you put them on your skin, they are very, very light and easily absorbed. So pretty much they feel like water on the skin. All right. There's so many different ones as someone who owns a green beauty store. I have such a variety of serums and you know, they're not all the same. So you can have ones that are just very minimalist in their ingredients. So you can have like, just like a pure hyaluronic um, acid with some hydrosols, plant hydrosols, or you can have something like the Nordic Boost here, which contains fern and Ice Iceland moss extract. This one here is also with um, aloe vera juice. Um, and then you can have, you know, Gradens, which is a, a little bit more of a, you know, an intricate formulation, if you wish. Um, this one contains like plant retinol and um, also plant collagen. So there's so many different uh, varieties. However, the, the thing that's similar about these is, you know, their texture, light, almost water-like, easily absorbed. They, the skin just drinks them up. Perfect for before applying your makeup and heading outside quickly. You don't need to leave them there to absorb as you might do with an oil serum. And the ones that I call oil serums, I mean, obvious reasons, they are oils. They are oil blends. Now, oil serums or facial oils, combine different ingredients. It's not, um, you might not have just a single oil. And that's what I would call maybe a facial oil versus um, a facial serum. A serum usually combines different ingredients to kind of like, you know, target all the concerns um, on the skin. So they pack more of a punch than, let's say if you went to the health food store and you got a straight up uh, jojoba or a straight up or argan oil, um, those are carrier oils, but I would also, you know, if you put them on your face, you can also, of course, call that a facial oil. Let's talk a little bit about what they actually do because whether or not you need one or you need both you need to understand how to choose between the two and i totally get it that it can get very very confusing now if you go for one of the lighter water serums right our water serums here with the hyaluronic acid aloe vera juice the plant hydrosols now these all target dehydration on the skin they target water loss and of course, the water loss leads to premature aging. Our skin is not able after a certain age to contain as much water. I mean, we lose uh, so many things um, as we get older that you know our skin has when we're younger. And also the production of a lot of things uh, slows down and is reduced. So if you need something for dullness, dehydration, 
or if you're seeing a lack of volume on your skin, if you want something that's plumping, then definitely a water serum would be something to grab, okay? As we head into warmer weather or even cooler weather, um, dehydration is definitely a concern. I know the water serums feel a lot nicer um, on hot weather when you don't want something heavier and you don't want to, um, you know, kind of like deal with the oils, um, absorbing, etc. So this is just, of course, a personal preference. The way I like to use my water serums is right after cleansing, I leave my skin a little bit damp. This will help absorption and I kind of just tap the um, oil serums everywhere. They're also fantastic for um, around the eye area for puffiness and also if you see the fine lines forming in those areas. So now let's go to our oils. So the oils target loss of nutrients, right? Remember I said that as we get older, the production of a lot of things kind of declines. These are fantastic for adding essential fat fatty acids and antioxidants back into your skin. For example, uh, Graydon's um, oil serum here contains linolenic um, acid from raspberry seed oil. So depending on the plant oils that are in your facial serum, you are getting just the, an, an array or um, you know a variety of these essential fatty acids that you might need for your skin. Oils are also fantastic for uh, dryness. So if you see you know flakiness around the skin, they're fantastic for that. Um, always make sure you apply them on damp skin. Otherwise, the oil is just going to sit there and it's not going to go anywhere. So you want to enhance the penetration and the absorption um, by also having your skin to be a little bit damp. You might want to do that by layering the hyaluronic acid right before your oil, or you might want to give your skin a nice mist um, with your facial mist and then go straight in with your oil. The oils restore and rejuvenate. They're fantastic for moisturization. They help the skin look less dull. They rejuvenate and they restore, and they're also fantastic for tackling scars. So let's say you have um, scarring on your skin or you have hyperpigmentation. This can happen for a variety of reasons. The oils are fantastic for tackling damage and scars and reducing hyperpigmentation. The first time I used an oil serum, I had a variety of little freckles up here on my forehead. And um, after using an argan oil paired with frankincense, I seriously had the whole thing uh, disappear off my skin. So there's just so many different combinations um, of oils and essential oils made into this beautiful facial serums, oil serums, that you need to just carefully go through the list of what they do and choose the right one that's based on your skin needs. My ideal way to use both of these is to layer them. I absolutely love both and they do um, they do such different things that you, at some point, you're going to need one and the other uh, together, right? So although, of course, I feel like my skin craves something richer in the winter months, um, if I don't use an oil to do my face massage at night, uh, it's just not the same. So as someone who is in her mid-40s, I definitely understand that I need both. So my way to use them is to layer them. And you don't have to go, you know, um, too crazy and use uh, a lot of the oil. Sometimes a couple of drops are enough. Again, always do it on damp, dewy skin, or you might want to take the oil and just add a couple of drops into your moisturizer just to boost uh, your moisturizer's benefits and to boost the nutrition. The hyaluronic acids, the water serums are fantastic underneath makeup, but again, make sure that your skin is a little bit damp and then apply a couple of drops. They spread so easily. You don't want to be using a lot. If your skin is damp, a drop here and a drop here that then you split up around the eyes and you know around the drier areas might be enough. Let that absorb for um, a few seconds. You can lightly uh, tap your water serum into the skin and then you can follow up and seal all that goodness in with your facial oil, 
your oil serum, right? Um, just to make sure that that water loss um, doesn't happen. It's always really nice to be pairing both of those together. Now, when it comes to like which ones you should get, well, check the benefits of the oils very carefully and see what essential oils they're paired up with and what hydrosol they're paired up with, right? In the in the case of the water serums and then go for the ones that your skin um, is actually craving and that they're going to benefit your skin's concerns. And if you still need a little bit of help, drop me a line below and I can definitely guide your purchasing um, decisions. Tell me a little bit about what your skin is craving, what your skin needs. I will get back to you with some of my suggestions. Okay, thank you so much for watching everyone. Please subscribe to my channel, turn on the little notification bell so you can get notified the next time I post another video. Thank you for being here. Any questions you have, I'm here for you. Just drop them below, all right?